So this weekend, I wanted to meet a lot of like-minded people. I wanted to work hard and learn more about entrepreneurship. What I'm looking to get out of this weekend is to actually learn about building a startup in an area which I'm very interested in. We had Founders Forum, which is an event for super successful entrepreneurs. And then basically we thought actually there's a lot to be done for those that haven't yet made it. And when young, dynamic people who want to be entrepreneurs um, get together, that magic happens. So we started it in March of last year in London, and we've done Paris as well, and we're looking to expand right across Europe. Today we're joining one of the founders of the Futures events in uh, there, it's called Launchpad Weekend and we're trying to either join a team uh, where people already have a business idea and we can uh, contribute our skills or we have our own idea that we want to develop and gather a team together and uh, hopefully by the end of the two days um, have a pitch that's good enough to um, attract investors. For the members of Founders of the Future who participated to the Launchpad Weekend uh, uh, this weekend, uh, they got to uh, learn a lot and they also got to make really deep connections with the other members. We spent uh, 48 hours uh, interacting with people they don't know but they're also aspiring entrepreneurs and, um, and they had mentors coming in to challenge them on their pitch. They did some pitch training, first round of judging, a second round of judging, um, which get them really uh, to and be able to articulate the idea as well and to be confident about the fact that they can launch it as an actual startup. I learned quite a bit, especially about uh, term sheets and at the same time quite a bit about um, ESOPs, so employee stock options. For lots of them they haven't had the chance nor the finance necessarily to engage and talk to a lawyer. So our role is to make it simple, explain you know, what the potential pitfalls are, where they can get help, and hopefully kind of equip them to move forward to the next stage. When I heard about EY and Goodwin sort of being part of it and present at this weekend, it sort of really encouraged me to come along because um, so basically I'm studying astrophysics and that, I mean, it doesn't teach me anything about say business and finance and law. So I've just done a presentation on how to build a financial plan, so hopefully I'll come away with some modelling skills that they can then take into investment presentations. Our team is working on Rivet, which is an app and it's, uh, it's based on trying to help people focus their attention. Power aims to make electric bikes cheaper than a bus pass in London. I'm 17 and I run a babysitting agency in my local area. The project is called the Dress Gang. It's a fashion rental where everyone can rent their latest trends in high-end fashion for a fraction of the retail price. We're working on a very cool project to use virtual reality for language education. A really exciting range, depth and calibre of individuals and I think they improved a lot during the weekend as well, so what we're told, so I think it's really exciting to see the dynamism. I know for a fact that the, the founders of the future usually has much higher concentration of talent in their events than most other, most other events of this time, right? So my main goal was to just meet interesting people, people who I could then work with in the future. That's, and I think I've met those people, I've made those connections, so. The fact that they come from so many different backgrounds and then quickly gel and manage to produce something that's uh, cohesive and uh, has quality uh, was really, really impressive.